Tyrannosaurus Rex from Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, but this one's going to be battle damaged, okay? Very, very, I think, regularly simple. Uh, it's going to be step by step by step, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you from beginning all the way to the very end, uh, and it should be very, very simple to do that, okay? Uh, if you're a beginner, this is easy for you to do, and I want you to stick around. Um, that's pretty much it, so let's jump right into the lesson, okay? Alrighty, let's get into the battle damaged version of uh, this T-Rex here. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna draw a curve line here for the top of the brow. <clears throat> kinda, kinda curve up, so it's gonna be a slight curve, like a U-shape, very slight. And then I'm gonna curve over the edge here. Like, same thing. So it's going to be a curve over. But as I'm curving over, I'm going to throw a little bumpiness in there. Nothing too wild, though. I'm going to go back here. Pulling up for kind of the back of the neck. A lot of the dinosaurs had that. They were very similar like birds, right? Back of the neck, and then it's going to go down. All right. Pulling down, curve up. Down over here, curve up line over here pull up for the eye area right by the way I'm a huge huge fan of Jurassic Park Jurassic World but I did not like Fallen Kingdom <laughs> let me know what you thought about Fallen Kingdom I don't know I thought that was really goofy I thought it was goofy I, I didn't like the Indoraptor I thought the Indominus Rex was a lot better but I did not like the Indoraptor to be honest I'm gonna go over here swoop for the cheekbone but let me know what your thoughts. Maybe you totally disagree. Maybe you thought the Indoraptor was the best. I didn't. I, I thought it was just like a ripoff of the, uh, the... What did I just say? The Indoraptor? Yeah, I thought the Indoraptor was just a, a ripoff of Indominus Rex. And that was goofy. <clears throat> Alright. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to draw teeth. So one thing you know about the T-Rex is that it had like teeth like bananas, right? I think I have a replica tooth around here. Do I have a replica tooth? No, that's not a tooth. I need a replica tooth. That was, uh, I have a um, claw of a, uh, I think I have a claw of an Allosaurus, like a replica. See right there, they're just trying to make them different sizes and make them like bananas. Because they had the uh, teeth for like bone crunching more than like tearing up, right? More than like those little like teeth that are separated. It has like more of these bone crunching teeth. Curve. Right here, and that's the skin on the inside of the mouth. Over here in the front. Curl over here, down. Curve underneath. Right there for the eye. Alright. So let's go over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to swoop down at an angle for the, the top of the lower jaw. Right there. Curve out down, pull back, and then it's got a pretty massive jaw, curve underneath here, it's got a pretty massive lower jaw, <clears throat> I'm going to pull a line underneath here for the throat area, pull back, and it's kind of it, we're just going to pull that neck back, so we're we have the general structure pretty much right off the bat, right? So let's draw some teeth on the bottom here. Same thing, these banana-shaped teeth that are curving in. They're curving in to, to pull in. Think about it like to grab. That's m uh, most predators, they, they tend to curve in. <clears throat> and I'm gonna throw a line here and I'm gonna fill it in because I want it to look more like you can see the inside of the mouth a bit. Uh, <clears throat> curve 
curve underneath, curve underneath for the bags under the eyes. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put scratch over here. Remember, this is a battle damage. Very similar to the Gigantosaurus. I want one of his eyes right here. See that? I'm going to draw a zigzag to look battle damaged and then to have no people of the eyes. So, like, he's like damaged in that one eye. <clears throat> I really want that. Over here, same thing. Maybe he's got like a big old scratch mark right there. Over here as well, around the neck area. Kind of thicken that out just a bit. Just like throwing those that battle damaged version of him. And maybe one up here. Draw a line over here for the neck, for like the vein of the neck. And I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna throw a little bit of darkness underneath here because uh, he has a pretty large, uh, I don't know how you call it, like it's like a vein of the neck or something like that. I'm not really sure what that's called, but a lot of animals have it, lizards have it, so I know that's why they put it in there. And now the rest of him is gonna be detailed, so I want thin lines right here curving around the neck area. Curving around here, <coughs> pulling in. So now I'm drawing thin lines right here for the, for the, uh, just kind of like the details on the skin. So curve right here along the skin. curve right here right here for kind of a it's now we're just throwing thin so so these thin lines I always say this on dinosaurs and I want to make like a dinosaur worksheet I think I might do that um, for the scales you're, you're just drawing these curved little like it's like the curved little lines but they have to be thin right they have to be thin because if they're not thin they're gonna overwhelm the design and it's gonna be too much and I've seen that a lot when people try to draw dinosaurs they try way too hard to draw every scale, and it just looks really weird. Like it, they look like they're covered in disease or something. You, you, you don't want to do that, unless it's like a full-out rendered painting. I get it, but generally you don't want to do that for like a drawing like this, like a quick drawing. You want to draw these curves here, kind of everywhere, but sprinkled. And let me darken the eye here because I want more focus in the eye. What you're doing is you're directing the viewer around the paper. Right, so I want them to look at that eye first, then kind of uh, look around the other side. You know, you're still directing the viewer. Um, anyways, don't forget to check out uh, the new website, SketchingEasy.com. Dot com. Okay, SketchingEasy.com. There's gonna be a lot of freebies on there. I'm trying to figure out what to put on there. Like, let me know. Probably worksheets and stuff like that. Like, uh, you know, just kind of things to help you learn and. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks so much. I'll see you next time. Share the video, by the way. That helps out immensely. And uh, I love hearing your guys' comments. You guys are amazing. And I'll talk to you later. I can throw little, little lines here. He's cut open there. All right. And if you want to keep learning how to draw and keep pushing your skills, go right here to this video on here on this side. Um, that video I put because it's the exact same theme as the video you just saw. And it kind of, I like it as a bit of a pair. So absolutely go check that out right now, another short video.